These are solid aluminum side tables that I made using woodworking tools and joinery. One version uses wedge tenon joinery and the other uses brass screws. No welding, no adhesives, just friction. And they were laser cut from half inch thick 5052 aluminum. Before I ordered the final wedge tenon table, I started by experimenting on some test articles. I played around with a couple different dimensions on the tenon and mortise knowing I would use eighth inch brass wedges. Playing with the test articles taught me some things and allowed me to dial in how I would peen the tenon to close up the gaps and make it fit tight. Normally with this joint in woodworking, you would taper the inside of the mortise so that the tenon can't pull out. What's nice about metal is you can peen it to make it expand. This made it a pretty strong joint even without tapering the mortise. I was going to try shrink fitting a wedge by freezing it in liquid nitrogen, but I had just ran out. In theory, if I were to freeze the wedge so that it shrunk, gently tap it in so it didn't crack, and let it warm up before peening, then it would expand and be a much tighter fit. My drill press isn't tall enough to drill into the top of these legs, so what I've done is turn my welding table into a drill press. I clamped the leg to this angle plate on the side, making the tops of the legs flush with the table. And to keep the leg from rotating, I clamped this angle on top of one side and put this dowel pin on the other. Then I stuck a mag drill on the table. I put in some steel threaded inserts. They're not super necessary in this case, but I thought it would be a nice touch. I'm going to countersink these holes so the screws sit just a little bit proud and then I'm going to sand them flush later. I just got the parts in for the wedge tenon version after learning from the test articles. All of the parts for this project were laser cut by Senkit Sen, who's the sponsor for this video. Senkit Sen is an online laser cutting service that has a wide range of materials, from metals to plastics, composites, and wood. They're a great resource for prototyping and production with a really fast turnaround time. If you've got an idea you've been thinking about making real, make sure to check out Senkit Sen. I'll have them linked in the description. I did a quick test with the router to figure out which profile I want to put on the top. I'm going to go with the chain but first I'm going to sand the laser cut edge off the top so that the router bearing has a clean surface to ride against. For routing metal, I like to cut as much as I can with a layer of blue tape down, then remove the tape and make a climb cut pass. That way I take about just a few thousandths on the last pass and it leaves a super nice finish. After driving in this first wedge, it lifted on the opposite side, and so I'm going to close up the gap with a clamp. So I've got this router, and I cut the base plate open on one side so that I could use an end mill and trim the tops of these tenons flush. I used to build airplanes for work, and we used the same technique with a different tool to shave the tops of rivet heads flush with the skin of the aircraft. I cut the tenons so they were still proud a bit, and I could peen them over to close up any gaps. After that, I shaved them pretty much flush and sanded them. Even though each of these tables cost about $600 in aluminum and laser cutting, it's amazing what you can do to metal using woodworking tools and techniques. I hope this project has inspired you to challenge yourself to learn new things and that you've learned you're more capable than you previously thought. I have several videos using metal in furniture. You can watch that playlist right here and I'll see you on the next one.